Hi there, and welcome to our study. We'll be asking to take some pictures of your brain using an MRI scanner, which is like a special camera that uses magnets and kind of looks like a big donut. It takes a picture of whatever is in the middle of the donut, and so you'll be lying on a bed inside of it. This video will help you get ready for your MRI. When you come to the center to take part in our study, you'll meet the researchers who will take pictures of your brain. We'll be taking different kinds of pictures of your brain. Some basic pictures will show the shape of the brain. All you have to do to help is to lie very still. You can just relax, watch a movie of your choice, or imagine that you're on a space adventure where you can make the spaceship fly when you keep your head still. Other pictures are more like a video which shows what happens in your brain while you're thinking. To see how the brain works when you think and act, we'll take pictures of your brain while you play special games we've made for the study. When it's your turn to play, you'll know how to press the buttons to play the games because you'll practice before playing inside the MRI scanner. There are several forms that your caregiver and you need to sign. The consent forms show that you understand what you're going to be doing. The researchers will explain that you don't have to do anything you don't want to do and that you can stop at any time. We will introduce you to the other researchers. They work in the console room and operate the MRI scanner. They can watch you through the big window, always making sure you are okay. Since the scanner is a big magnet, nothing with metal can be taken into the scanner room. You'll fill out a metal screening form with the help of your caregiver to make sure that you don't have any metal on or in your body. You'll take off your jewelry, belts, hair elastics, wallets, coins, keys, and anything else that might contain metal. It's best if you leave your special things like jewelry and other things you don't want to lose at home. We'll make sure you can store anything you have with you in a safe place like a locker. Be sure to give the locker key to the researcher before you go into the scanner room. The button on your pants is okay, but it's cool with us if you want to wear something super comfy like pajamas for when you get your brain pictures taken. Just make sure there aren't any metal zippers, buckles, or glitter on your clothes. Please wear pants that cover your entire legs. No shorts, please. We'll ask you to take your shoes off and leave them in the locker too. You'll need to wear the booties either over your own socks or on your bare feet. The scanner is very loud, so you will have to wear earplugs or special headphones to protect your hearing. The scanner makes sounds like a fast drum and some beeps. Here's one of the sounds that the scanner makes. And another. During a scan called a DTI, the scanner will make some different sounds and the scanner bed may move a little more. This is normal, so just relax and keep enjoying your movie. Before we go into the MRI scanner room, a researcher will ask you once more to be sure that your pockets are empty and that you have no metal on you. You'll walk into the scanner room and sit on the scanner bed. You'll be holding the button box in your right hand if you're going to play any games in the scanner. In your left hand, you'll be holding a squeeze ball. The squeeze ball is your way of letting the researchers in the next room know you want something. Throughout the scan, they will ask you to squeeze the ball if you're okay. If you want to stop a scan, you can squeeze the ball at any time and someone will come in and talk with you. Remember to keep your head still at all times while you're in the MRI scanner. Don't nod when thinking yes and don't shake your head when you think no. Your head needs to go inside the helmet-like mirror holder, which is a special part of the MRI scanner that picks up the signals from your brain to make the pictures. The researchers make sure that you're comfortable now because you'll be lying in this position for a while, perhaps up to 12 minutes. If you move while the scanner is taking pictures of your brain, the pictures will come out blurry, just like when you take pictures with a camera. So please remember to stay as still as you can. You'll also need to make sure your hands and legs are not crossed. We'll be in the room next door watching you through the window and making sure you are fine. We will even be able to talk with you through the speaker that's built into the scanner. So we will be just as if we were in there with you. 
We'll check with you to make sure that you can see everything clearly in the mirror above your head before we start taking pictures of your brain. Again, the scanner will make funny noises, but you already know that. So just relax and keep still. You may get to play some games in the scanner too. Wow, you can really pretend that you're on a space adventure. All you have to do is keep your head still so that the spaceship will fly to a faraway star. You can help the researchers with their study and save the day. See, that wasn't bad. When you are finished, you can take out your earplugs. We'll also print out a picture of your brain for you to take home. To help you prepare for your scan, and to show you that lying in the scanner is not difficult, you can come in and practice lying still in a simulation of the scanner. This way you can see that it's pretty easy to do. You can also practice at home. We'll give you an audio CD and you'll get to listen to the MRI greatest hits while lying on the floor. We like to call this the statue game. Well, that's it. Once we have finished the scan and you have received your souvenir picture, then you are all done. Great job. Thanks for helping us with our study.